Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, more match game, I think Peach is going to be the one, but I gotta choose my character, it's going to be Sherry, oh, is that 230 versus 235? That's a pretty even match. I think I'm going to go back down the road here, backwards, because the, you know, harder courses and whatnot are... Just, they just lead the better matches, I think, and you've seen the Marion Club more than other ones, so... I'm gonna go with the Lynx here, and I guess... Spaptees, Tourney Greens, and let's see how the computer does. Hopefully well. <laughs> just a little bit of topspin. I don't want it to go too far, because we've got the Heath of Doom over there, over to the right there, and I don't want the Fast Fairways to mess with me that badly. And yep, yep, yep. Do your best, Peach. I am hoping to Arceus that you destroy Mario in terms of skill. <laughs> I mean, it probably won't be enough to beat me, but I'm hoping for some more ties at the very least. Uh, I just want to go... I don't, I don't think... Well, maybe I need a power shot, because I don't want to hit a driver off the fairway. And super backspin. Oh, actually, maybe that was a bad, <laughs> bad idea, because I missed hit and I should have just held back and let it roll out. Well, mm, eh, maybe I could chip it in. And this wind is uh, awfully low for the Lynx Club. <laughs> two miles per hour. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> it's gonna be with a tree in her way and everything. Oh no, this is already disaster town. Hit right through the tree. There you go. Because that might actually get through and actually, yeah. Because as I showed you before, you're able to hit through the leaves, leaves of the tree, not the trunk of the tree. Uh, just as long as you hit it hard enough to get, to get through it and where you need it to go. It's something to practice, though, to get the feel of that. I don't really know any sort of formula for that to really make it go in or, I mean, to make it go where you want it to go. But I just know that you gotta hit it, like, maybe... Uh, mm, two thirds more than you would normally do for a certain given distance, probably something like around there. And there we go. <laughs> Just put her out of her misery really quick there. Uh, I'm gonna hit over there on that side. Just try and cut off as much of the hole as possible. And you know, based on the way that I slide my. Like, you have to slide your finger for topspin as opposed to backspin, it feels much more uncomfortable to do topspin, or I mean super topspin, than it is to do backspin. I don't know, because you're like pushing on it with, with the uh, first joint, you know, the, the A button with your first joint to your thumb, and then you roll the other portion of your thumb over quickly. I mean, yeah, you could slide over as well. My finger tends to get caught between the buttons. So that's not really the best option for consistency. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I figure that the roll method by having my finger over both buttons, like, like something like this, and then you know, go like, yeah, something like that to roll over, is my best way to do it. Uh, I'm gonna hit over... Actually, I'm gonna hit over here. I think that's gonna be safer. Because I, I think all the other stuff is just gonna lead me into trouble with the Heath and... Yeah, so let's just take out that out of the equation and put us in a nice spot. Because it's only 125 to the hole from there, I guess. And... Peach, can you keep it off the beach? By beach, I mean bunker. Yes, you can, and you made it on the green! Whoa! In regulation! Whoa! Uh, I'm gonna go under it. Play off the slope. And a little backspin. There isn't any wind here, that's... it's really unusual. And there's the slope, there's the spin, and there is the shot making. Alright, Peach, you better switch to middle, because you're not going to make it with a short. Ooh, nice! <laughs> but, it's a tie. <laughs> Woo! There we go! Now that's more of a match! Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go back to... Well, maybe I don't need the power. and I'll just hit into the rough just a little bit with a little backspin because it's a thin green. Just want to use the rough to slow it down a little bit. Oh, over, overshot, overshot. Oh, 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 oh,
Hmm. Peach. I don't know if. Oh. She seemed confused there. I could tell by how long it took her at the beginning. Yeah, I think the AI sometimes overthinks it. Oh, jeez! Horrendous miss. <laughs> That's as bad as a duff. Oh, man. Peach. Peach. Are you even a pro? I'm gonna overhit this up the hill and not move the cursor at all, because I think it'll take the break out of it. Yep. And that's the end of Peach for another hole. Uh, <laughs> skipping on ahead quickly, which I just mashing buttons. I am going to get myself up on that hill, hopefully. Just one bounce up on the hill, and we'll be golden. Yeah, there we go. Well, it actually took two bounces, but because it was such a low trajectory, I was able to kind of roll it up there in anyway. Mm. Uh, it's gonna be okay, but I don't like how she mishit it that much at the impact zone. Yeah, it's, she's not gonna make the green in two, is she? Uh, I wouldn't play there. <laughs> That's straight towards Heath. Okay. <laughs> her mishit saved her. Uh, maybe not, actually. She's, she's on the slope and on semi-rough. Um, I'm gonna have to use a power shot here to get some... Uh, let's see where I am in relation to everything. That actually looks good right there. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. And no spin or anything. Just gonna kind of let it roll out because it's gonna hit the fairway and there's a lot of rolling to do here. So, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. maybe I should have backspun it. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, uh, ooh, uh oh, uh oh, AI is confused. AI hurt itself in its confusion. Actually, no, this looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, yes, we're, we're about in the same position. We've got about the same kind of butt, just with different uh, slopes. I'm gonna put mine way over there and way over hits. <laughs> kinda, actually. It's not that much of an over hit. Just, uh, eh, it didn't move as much to the right as I wanted to, nor did I hit it as hard as I wanted to, but that actually turned out alright, uh, because I would have ended up missing anyway to the right if I would have uh, hit it even harder, because it would have took even more break out of it. But, you know, it's just kind of hard to tell sometimes how much break there is, if it happens that way IRL. But I got the point anyway, so, eh. <laughs> hmm. Three up through five holes, and I think I'm better off actually holding back there. Because the thing about it is, I don't want to go over the slope and down into... Well, not not over the slope, excuse me, do, uh, down into the heath. Or the rough or something like that over there, so I'm just gonna hold back on a nice chunky patch of fairway. Peach, you have a good opportunity here. It's a nice straight hole for you. Oh no, she's on a side slope. <laughs> well, she can't make the green in two anyway, so we'll see how this turns out. Um. Oh, and by the way, just so you don't worry about my throat or something, I've got... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, hmm... Should I even bother going for the green in two? I mean, I guess so. I was gonna say because she's she didn't make the green in regulation, so I don't have to really in theory. So, let, but let's just see how it turns out for kicks. Eh, fringe, that's all right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that actually turned out good. <laughs> I'm just never sure about. Computers with approach shots lately. Uh, I moved it a good chunk to the left as you've seen there. Oh shoot, I forgot to take into account the fringe. That's gonna be short. Ah, pooper is my own fault. Ah! <laughs> uh, and she makes her putts. Alright. And that's alright. I ended up tying the hole because of a derpy derp. But that is okay. Uh, wow, I actually need a power shot on a par 3. <laughs> well, uh, uh, maybe I don't. I'll do that, 
and regular backspin. I think it's going to hop over that mound because it's going to land short of it and then hop over and then backspin on the green a little bit to control it. Ooh! Yep, I should have went with the three wood. Should not have went against my instincts. Three wood with power, I should say. Because you'll notice, this is why, that's why I don't like hitting to the green with a driver, is because they run out so, so much more. What the heck happened to her? <laughs> anyway, they run out so, so much more than any any given fairway wood does. And that's because, namely, because the driver is built differently than other clubs. Like, you're supposed to hit it, hit it with, an, like, an upward sweep all the, uh... Um, the fairway woods are supposed to hit right at the bottom of your swing arc, but, well, even though I overhit it, chip-ins will give me the point. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, it's, I'm gonna go plop this around the bend a little bit, and control it with backspin. All I want to do is feed it into that corner with a better angle, because, you know, to control it a little better. And I hit it into the mound, which wasn't really, really what I was going for, but it came out pretty straight, so... Uh, yeah, I wanted to be between the bunker and the heath, and that's what happened, but... Because of my miss hit, it went a little bit more left than... yeah. Anyway... Turned out fine, so... Don't worry about it. Will Peach's ball turn out fine, though? I think it will. It's so gonna get a lot of roll off this fairway, in fact it'll probably take half this part just to stop. Nah. <laughs> but as you can tell, the fast fairways really, truly are fast. Uh, and they, they sort of kind of exist in real life golf courses too, but not really like as a different kind of cut to make them faster or something like that, they're just more like dried out patches of fairway or scalped patches of fairway due to um, like running over a mound or something with the mower. So they do exist, it's just that uh, they, they aren't something that I've ever seen that was done on purpose, <laughs> like, like these courses are. So fast fairways are a unique purposeful feature, I guess you could say, in the Mario Golf games. Uh, what? What was she thinking? Why would you sling that hard on it? <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever hit a chip shot that hard unless I've bladed it, but the thing about it is that she was using a higher club to bump and run it, but she hit it like it was a <laughs> 40 yards away. Uh, anyway. Uh, like, I don't know how you could miss hit it that badly from such a short distance. Just baffles. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of plop it on that fast fairway over there, down that side. There we go. Nice and safe. So you can kind of use that slope to bring it back onto the fast fairway if need be, but it, my ball didn't really go across it, it's just the way the tee box angle was. But if you have like a fade or something like that, you could rebound it kind of off that slope if you'd like to uh, to get it to that patch of fair fast fairway. Uh, that's a good shot. She should be proud of that. But can she keep up the low scoring? Maybe. I wouldn't count on it though. Uh, uh, it's a pot bunker. Right there, yeah. Okay, missed. <laughs> I wasn't sure how that was gonna turn out because she, you know, you know that she curved it right to left at the bottom right corner. So I didn't know how much that would actually affect it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, how close am I to? Ooh. <laughs> okay, how close am I now? Oh, that's more acceptable. I'm gonna go like that, and wherever it goes, it should be fine because there's not really any any sort of danger there, whether I'm in the rough or the fairway or or whatnot around that landing area. So, the next shot will be straight towards the pin. Um, hmm, eh, eh. Well, that looks like it has promise. Oh yeah, very nice! Look at that! Peach is showing promise! <laughs> Alright, as for my shots, I'm gonna be dropping and stopping, as you know. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna go like... 
Oh, I get like 79. No, it's not letting me. <laughs> nah, I'll just hit it there and maybe a little past the mark. Oh, I under hit it, so... This might not turn out that well, because that front slope, we'll see. Yeah, that's okay. I should be able to one-putt that. I just had to get it on and relatively close on the flat spot, you know, to make the putt, because uh, I noticed she got on in regulation, so she's gonna birdie as well. Uh, well, because she got on regulation and was that close to the hole. Um... Eh... I really want to power through this hole. Oh shoot, I miss it. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to increase my power there because of the uh, the length of this hole. Uh, that actually turned out pretty well. I mean, yeah, I did use a power shot, but I that was the first one that I used the entire round because I've been striking it pretty well in these rounds. So <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Mm. Uh, well, I that's not. I don't think she's going to make the green in two, but that's good position. Because see, uh, what I was looking at when I was hitting my ball was trying to divide the hole in half, basically, as best I can. And that wasn't past the halfway point. Because <laughs> the, the idea was to make it so that I could make it to the green in two. You know, give myself the best opportunity to get past the halfway point and then do something with with my shot and spin, whatever I need to curve it with, and, you know, just give myself a chance at the green in two, but she didn't really give herself a chance. I overhit that one, by the way, I guess. <laughs> That's alright. She's not gonna be on in regulation, so... I... well, uh... oh no. <laughs> I was gonna say I can two-putt the victory, but now it's looking like I can three-putt to victory. Uh, yeah, I figured she was gonna be plopping her ball on the green at the very least. What, did my shot intimidate or something like that? I don't know. I mean, that wasn't that good of a shot. Come on, now, I've done better. <laughs> I moved that a smidge over to the right, overhit it two notches. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I overhit it too much. That's okay, though. I'm still gonna beat her on this hole, so... Oh, she made it. Look at that. Woo. Alright, here is my two-putt. I didn't move the cursor at all, by the way. No cursor moving. No... No, 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 not for something that short and with so little break. Uh, I'm gonna try and curve it into that hole over there, I guess. Right to left, little backspin. I miss hit that, so it's probably gonna end up on the right side back fringe. Uh, oh, right side back rough. Well, well, that doesn't mean I can't chip it in. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Uh, shouldn't you be using a power shot yourself there, Peach? That's not gonna do it! Yeah! <laughs> I could just see, because it's uphill a little bit, you just gotta get it high enough to get it on the green. And just, she didn't take that into account, I guess. Uh, that's a pretty good approach, though. A little harder, and that would have been in. Alright, chip in attempt time. I'm not gonna move the cursor. Because I think the wind and the, the slope and everything is just going to counteract each other. Oh, So close. <laughs> I really went for it, though, as you can tell how much I overhit it by. And I'm just going to really overhit it here to take out all the break. There we go. Got my par. And she managed to get a par out of that, too. Alright. So we ended up basically doing the same things, only at different portions of the green. Uh, I'm gonna go... Because this is a really long one. Well, maybe it's not that long, but I'd like to get myself in a decent position here. So I'm gonna use the wind to my advantage. And just no spin or anything like that there. I just want to hit it off the side slope of the, the fairway divot type thing here. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice kick. Just wanted to use that to get up there without making myself go too far to the right. That's a... Uh, way that you can play it, I guess. Uh, it might be a little too precise and risky for some's preferences, but I don't think so. Because, as you can tell, if you don't really count the, the pot bunkers around there, there's a good chunk of fairway to land it on over there, especially since you've got the slope to slow yourself down. Just don't, just don't leave your ball on the slope. Because you know what happens when you leave your ball on the slope. It'll end up, well, an upslope. It'll end up leaving you with a really 
really high velocity shot that isn't really gonna get you to the green, probably. Uh, anyway, I can hit to the green with a 4 iron. Look at that. Whoops. Xbox D pad is messing with me. And I'm just gonna leave it there with a little backspin. I'm not doing anything fancy here because she's on the green. So, I'm just gonna kinda try and get it up there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I probably should have hung back a little bit more. But, eh, eh, it's fine. Ooh, she made it. Nice. Another tie hole, it looks like. I'm not gonna move the cursor, just gonna hit it hard. And it goes in. Woo! One to go. Well, one medal to go, but, you know, it could last a lot more holes if she wins some. I don't want to get over everything and control it, like I'm doing a shot to a green. So, going under it with super backspin. It should have hit the fast fairway. Oh, it didn't. It landed right between them. <laughs> That's just plain unlucky. I mean, I thought, it, like, based on where my cursor was, and... Maybe because I just underhit it that amount, and it was just the right amount to end up behind between them, but still, still, it seems crazy that it just happened to be at that very perfect, you know, amount of power to hit in between them and not get the extra distance I wanted out of the fast fairway. But, well, eh, uh-oh, Heath time. Oh, no, Peach, no! You just gave me the game! Because <laughs> all I'm going to do now is just work on getting the, on the green in regulation because you're not going to be able to. So I'm plopping myself over here. Oh, I actually touched the, the Heath there a little bit, but... All I wanted to do is put myself on that open spot of fast fairway there and everything. Uh, which did work out, as I planned. Oh, Heath to Heath! <laughs> oh, Peach is pan- oh, No, she's aiming towards another- The, the D-pad Heath? Why are you- No! Just- <laughs> Oh, Peach! Oh, no! Alright, I'm gonna try and put- Oh, whoa, I just had some lag there. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm still gonna beat her on this hole anyway. But yeah, like, <laughs> it's like my cursor slowed down uh, right at that point. That's okay. She isn't even close to being on the green in regulation. Uh, I can't. How did she even manage to do that? Like, my first instinct in Heath is to make sure that I get out and put myself in good position. Ooh, that was pretty good. She almost chipped it in, but she's gonna get a double bogey. And I'm going to end up with a par, probably, unless I chip this in. I think, I don't, I mean, I don't think I will, but I just might. Nah, I didn't think so. Uh, I didn't put any spin on that because the rain, you know, slows it down. Uh, poor Peach. And victory is mine. Woo! And there we go. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.